How would you feel if your city or town was filled with plastic debris and trash? Would you enjoy walking and driving to it? Would you like to eat plastic for dinner? I wouldn't, and I would get that you wouldn't like it also. In comparison, marine animals who live in the Great Pacific uh, Patch area have to consume plastic with ton of plastic and swim with ton of plastic and eat it by accident every day. According to the article, Pacific garbage has still growing from June 2008. More than a million seabirds and 100,000 marine animals have die each year after consume plastic from the pack. We need to take action on the Great Pacific Garbage Pack issue by first defining what are the problems, second, what the effects and the causes, and third, what can we do about the Great Pacific Garbage Pack to help solve. <coughs> Let's start by discussing about the problem in the Great Pacific Garbage Pack. There are many problems that create the Great Pacific Garbage Patch today. The trash is filled with floating plastic, such as bottles, bottle cap, plastic bag, plastic fragment, and toothbrushes. From the article in Natural History magazine, Shah Moore reported 80% of trash is, pla is plastic, and the amount is 3.3 million pieces. And 3.3 million pieces per square kilometer. According to the article, Better Planet Garbage Pad in July 2008, currently there is six times more than more plastic than plankton floating in the middle of the ocean. According to the previous article, Pacific Garbage Pad still growing. The garbage in the middle of the ocean is now twice the size of the U.S. and is still growing. Mawitam.com in June 2009 reported that the pack is double in size every two years. It is said that the pack is getting bigger every year. According to the article, Pacific Rockbridge Superhighway Drive by Unloaded in December 2007, it takes a year for plastic to eat the garbage from Asia and over five years from North America. Second, I will explain what are the causes and effects? There are many causes that create the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. According to the article, scientists search for garbage patch in September 2008. Plastic trap in North Pacific Gyro because of wind and the currents. The article, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in November 2007 state that plastic that you don't dispose properly can make it way down storm drains, stream and the river, and then up in the Pacific Ocean. According to wikipedia.org, in June 2009, 80% of garbage come from land, and 20% come from ship at sea. In addition, the garbage affect animal food chain and human health. According to Mother Nature Network in June 2009, when plastic break down into small pieces, it can it become dangerous for species because they think that it's food. For example, a jellyfish trap in plastic trap, and birds that consume plastic die because they saw an are full of plastic. Moreover, in the previous cited Natural History magazine state that top predators such as tuna don't hang out in that area because they uh, because the lack of food. It also affects food chain that can cause health problems in humans. According to the last cited, plastic affects organisms that inject the toxin. They are eaten in turn by fish and so the poison, poison pass into the food web, in some cases into human beings. Eating plastic is bad for your health, according to the article. Eating plastic made you sick in May 2009. Researchers claim that eating plastic may cause many forms of cancer in people. Finally, what all of us can do to help solve the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? There are many ways to help solve the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. If everyone supports recycle, 
avoid overusing plastic and become aware of using plastic, it would help make the Great Pacific garbage pad become smaller. According to the article, six times more plastic than pattern in the plastic ocean in January 2009. Each hour, North American consume and discard about 2.75 million plastic water bottles. At least 10% of that is fired its way into the sea, and only 1% is recycled. We need to stop using so much plastic and change our consumption habit before the pad it grow even larger. Using cloth bag and reuse, reusable bottled water are two examples of what we can do to help, you know, make the pad smaller. Everyone should get involved by supporting the government and researchers who are studying the pad. Strong public support will help the government to start cleaning up the pad. Right now, more people are learning about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is good. Today, I talk about what the problems, what the causes and effects, and what we can do about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Hopefully, many people will be concerned and do some part to help. We need to take care of our Earth in order to uh, take care of our current generation and for the future generation who want to see the beauty of it all. Thank you.